Sasha. Hush, hush, hush. Same reason they write these complaints, Dennis. Your pranks. Today, Dennis, Mum and I expect, insist, demand, hope you do nothing for the rest of the day. If there are any more of your usual pranks, you'll have to do every one of these jobs around the house. Ah, got it. None of my usual pranks. All day. Hush. <laughs> About time you were restrained. No problem, Walter, cos I'm not going to do any of my usual pranks. Good. Peace and quiet at last. I'm going to do the ultimate prank. What? Ow! Get off. He's doing what? The ultimate prank? This is a disaster! Emergency meeting at the Colonel's house now! <laughs> It's me. Who's me? How should I know who you are? It, it's Sergeant Slipper. Open up in the name of the law. Uh, uh, uh. You have to do the secret knock. No. Oh. Wrong. No. Oh. Nope, that's not it. Are you some sort of imposter? But you didn't tell me the secret knock. Huh. Wouldn't be a secret if I told you. Uh, we'll be here forever waiting for them. Yes. Good thinking, Nasha. Let's do it. <laughs> Not even close. Ow, 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 ow. Spot on, Sergeant. I knew you'd get it in the end. Finally. <laughs> Nifty knocking, Nasha. And now we wait. <laughs> Quick game to pass the time. Nash! Nash! Concerned citizens, we are facing the most terrifying problem ever to face Beano down in the face. Oh. Dennis is planning the ultimate prank. <gasps> Indeed. But what will it be? We have to know. Maybe he's going to put hair dye in the shampoo. <laughs> la, 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 la. Already done it. <gasps> oh, maybe he's going to mix itching powder with the laundry. Oh, Seems to be itching. Ah, 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 help somebody, please! Ah. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no, he's done that one too. Then what? What? For the love of Queen and Country, the ultimate prank! It's sure to be something absolutely horrifyingly terrible! Gentlemen and lady, the fate of Beano Town and possibly the world rests in our hands. We must keep him under surveil. Su uh, su surveil, su uh, surveil. We must keep a close eye on him. And I have just the chap for this kind of operation. Corporal Tinkle, Tate's hunt! <laughs> Young Corporal Tinkle here just volunteered. Uh, oh. Well done, Tinkle. This could mean a promotion. Oh, about time, too. <laughs> now, let's see what enemy activity Tinkle has to report. Closely, Nasha. This is the ultimate prank. Mrs. Miggins, huh? vegetable garden first. What? What did he say? That's Mrs. Miggins' prize winning vegetable garden, number 42, opposite the bus stop. Oh, thank you. Then off to see Parky Bowls down in the park. Huh? After that, we'll visit those new exotic fish at the pond. Mmm. <laughs> Then fly by Grant's house five minutes later, and finally we'll end up at the corner of Biffo Street and Snooty Avenue. Nash, 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 nash. He's covering half of Beano Town. This is going to be the biggest prank ever. The horror. We must stop Dennis. Mrs. Creature, you take Mrs. Miggins' garden. Sergeant, you keep an eye on Parky Bowles. Colonel, you head over to Dennis's grand's house. Claudius and I will guard the fish pond. We'll meet at the final rendezvous later. Very well. Commencing Operation Secret Spy. No, 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 no. Too, too obvious. 
What about Operation Follow Dennis? Oh, no, I know, I know. Operation Foil the Fiend. No, no, I disagree. Oh, Colonel, you are wrong. It should just be called Secret Operation. No. He's getting away! Operation He's Getting Away? No, no, that's no good. Oh, for goodness sake! How about Operation Will Everyone Please Stop Talking and Catch Dennis? Yes, that'll do. Yeah, works for me. Catchy. Now, split up! <laughs> oh, 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 Mrs. Miggins' prize winning carrots are famous. Her potatoes are priceless and her turnips are terrific. I must save the vegetables. Dennis, stop! <laughs> What have you done to Mrs. Miggins prize winning garden? Oh no. Hey, hey, no mischief you do. I'm pruning. He wouldn't. Oh, who am I kidding? It's Nasha. Of course he would. Move! Official police tree! Sorry. Sergeant Slipper, what are you doing? Undercover operations? Uh, special branch? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Claudius, you after those new ever so expensive exotic fish? Oh, Parky Balls will go mad if you've scoffed one. <laughs> wow, you're much braver than me. I wouldn't go anywhere near those piranha fish. <laughs> piranha fish? <laughs> Luckily, they're rare, toothless piranha. They don't bite, but whoa, they have a mean sucking action. <coughs> hey, you! My rare, exotic, toothless piranha fish! Come here, you two! <coughs> <coughs> Enemy approaching! Take cover! Uh. <laughs> ah, nice pig! Good pig! Where's Dennis now? Yes, <laughs> now! Ah, what are you two doing over there? Us two? Over here? Well, what we're not doing is standing in wet cement. <laughs> Today cannot get any worse. <laughs> Oi, what you lot done to my cement? I'll have you. Come here! Oh. <laughs> get back here! What have you done? I haven't done anything, Dad. But, but look at them. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. Mrs. Creature ruined Mrs. Miggin's garden. Sergeant Slipper damaged Parky Ball's hedge. You frightened the piranhas, Walter. And you jumped into Harvey's pen kernel. The ultimate prank was everyone else thinking I would do something. I didn't have to do anything. What? By Jove, the boy's a master strategist. Oh. Let me get this right, Dennis. You pranked everyone by not pranking them. Yep. Well, in that case, you are now banned from doing nothing. Never do nothing ever again. Yes! yes. yes. Come on, everybody. Let's go home. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs>
today we're putting the fun into fundraising to raise enough money to deal with the pigeon infestation. I've looked at several money-making ideas, and in my impartial and unbiased opinion, the best one is Angel Face's Biscuit Bake Off. Thanks, Daddy. It's simple. We all bake cookies and sell them to raise money. <laughs> no way I'm baking bickies to help this dump of a school. And whoever sells the most cookies will win all day passes to the new roller coaster at Beaver Town Fair. Hey! Like I said, I'd do anything to help this dump of a school. But we don't know anything about baking cookies. True. We'll need some help. And I know just who to ask. Angel Face, I have a cookie-shaped career opportunity for you. Join Team Walter and you'll get great experience for your CV, a full benefits package, pension and holiday entitlements, and homework help. Hmm. Throw in piggyback rides to all my lessons and you've got a deal. Bertie? Dudley? <sighs> right -o, hop on. Oh. Give me up. Right I have a counter offer. Join us and we'll split the roller coaster passes with you. I want half. No way, there's four of us. Okay, two quarters. Done. <laughs> now, I've broken the recipe down into simple stages. Dennis, you stir the mixture. Nasha, crease the baking trays. Nash, Nash! Curly, roll out the cookie dough. Pie face, you cut them into shapes. And I'll add the decorations. Now, let's get baking. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it passes the Nasha taste test. <laughs> cookie crew, present cookies. I give you... The Walter Wafer. <laughs> I give you the Menace Mouthful. Nash, nash. Oh, oh, Mum, we're selling cookies to raise money for the school. You're helping the school? Why? To win free tickets for the new roller coaster, of course. Oh, that makes more sense. OK, I'll take a box. <laughs> Decorations taste funny. Oh, those aren't decorations. They're bits of Nash's fur. Nash! Oh. Uh, there! Oh. Oh. First satisfied customer. <laughs> Let's get back to school and start selling. Our oh, Minnie's mouthfuls are made with only the finest ingredients. Then each one is lovingly topped off with sweetness and light. And offered to you so we can support our beloved school. Oh, I'll take a dozen boxes. Sold. Cash only. Keep the line moving. <laughs> no one can resist Angel Face's sales talk. Roller coaster, here we come. La, la, la. From the frozen north oh, 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 to the Straits of Gibraltar. Oh, 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 it's no snack better than a wafer from Walter. Oh, let's oh, this good. Oh, good. Oh, this oh, this superb. Is superb. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Walter Wafers. Finest cookies in Bean Hotel. <laughs> Time for Plan C, then. Oh, Read all about it. The truth about many mouthfuls. Oh. <laughs> Wait, come back. Uh, special offer. Buy one and I won't menace you for a week. Buy our biscuits, Daddy. Uh, sorry, Pumpkin. I'm buying Walter wafers. This leaflet says menace mouthfuls are made of cardboard, sawdust and mouse droppings. Outrageous! Besides, only one of those things is true. <laughs> this is what happened to me when I ate a menace mouthful? Right. Uh, two can play at that game. Hello? Been 
Little Town TV, meet me at the school. I've got a hot news story for you. <laughs> okay, we need some lipstick, balloons, and Curly's video camera. We're here at Beano Town School where we were hoping to bring you an exclusive story. But so far, all we've found is some pigeons. Chew. Boy, I've got your story here. Just upload this video file. <sighs> Why not? Ah, oh, time for the Beano Town Frog Hurdling Finals with a nice cup of tea and a bite of those delicious Walter wafers. <laughs> Interrupt this program to bring you an important message. Hello, I am a proper doctor. Are you eating Walter wafers? Mm -hmm. Then you'd better watch out for these side effects: dizziness, <laughs> strange squiggles on your face, and finally. <laughs> You don't want your head to explode. Buy many mouthfuls, the cookie you can trust. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, we've completely sold out. But did we beat Walter? Pie Face is on the case right now. We sold 154 boxes before that news report of Dennis's scared off our business. Hmm. We've only got five left. We have to sell them to be sure we beat Dennis. We sold 158. Our Walter sold 154. Yeah! 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 But he's still trying to sell his last five boxes. Oh, actually, four, because I bought a box. They're really nice. It doesn't matter. The only way anyone else would buy Walter's wafers now is if they don't have a TV. And there's no one in Beano Town without a TV. Oh, except... No, 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 no. I never watch the entertainment square. Rots the brain, don't you know? Exactly. We know you're a man of taste and distinction. That's why we rushed here with this exclusive offer on our last remaining boxes of Walter's wafers. If Walter sells his last boxes, he wins. You have to stall them while I make more cookies. Oh, Colonel, I just happened to be passing when I suddenly wanted to hear some of your brilliant war stories. Really? Well, of course, my pleasure. It's so important for our generation to listen to the wisdom of our elders. Don't you agree, Walter? Yes. But if we could just finish our business first... Don't be so impatient, young man. That's what's wrong with the youngsters today. Now, during the siege of Shethington Grouse, we waited 57 days, don't you know? <laughs> Aha, I put in loads of extra self-raising flour to make them bake faster. Yeah. Ah. Wow, that really was fast. Gregory, one of us has to wrestle these sharks, and I think it should be you. Hmm? What was that noise? Uh, probably your stomach rumbling. Hungry for some Walter wafers? Ah, uh, yes. Well, I suppose I'd better get on with buying them. Look It's a biscuit eat biscuit world. And you know what that means? We win! We win! We win! Thanks to all the money raised by the biscuit bake-off, this school is once again pigeon free. And the results are in. In second place, it's Team Walter who sold 155 boxes. But your winners, with 158 boxes sold, Team Dennis! <laughs> and here's your prize. Free passes to the new Beano Town roller coaster. Yeah! What do you think happened to Team Walter? Looks like they're on a roller coaster ride of their own. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
Nash, 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 Nash. Citizens of Earth, having braved the chill depths of space, meteor showers, asteroids, canine astromut cutter likes nothing more than a bowl of lumpy chunks. is in the can. Well, I'll be. I was hoping you'd visit my humble shop. It's truly an honor, sir. Eh? Please accept this bone for being the greatest dog in the world. Nash? Eh? Not just this bone, no, sir. A hero like you can have anything in the shop. <gasps> And in your honor, <laughs> my sausages I give to you, my chops to fill your face, my fillets fill your rumbling tum. Brave dog who's been to space. Oh, no, Hansher, not you. Him. Please, sir, accept this bone for being the greatest dog in the world. Look out! Huh? The moon's coming! School's out, Nasha! Time for a kickabout! Nash, Nash, Nash! Nash! It's a freebie! Everyone got one to celebrate Cutter's visit! <laughs> In honor of his amazing travels, Astro Cutter will receive the Beano Town Collar of Honor later this afternoon. <laughs> 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 Cutter is the greatest dog in the universe because he's been up in space. <laughs> Second best, maybe. He's nothing compared to you, Nasha. <laughs> Nasha? <laughs> Nasha? Ah. Hey, your laces are undone. Huh? All the planets are aligned. Well, the moons at least. Go, Nasha! Huh? I've exposed my flank and I haven't been attacked. Something's definitely not right here. We've got an emergency. Look! <laughs> <laughs> Nasha's lost his menacing mojo. Oh, I'd hate to think of Paul lying around not up to his usual tricks. Oh. Uh, uh, we've got to find something to kickstart Nasha's menace hard drive. But what, Dennis? I mean, that's a pretty big hard drive. But it'll have to be something out of this world. <gasps> Curly, you are a genius! <laughs> DIY SOS ASAP. Okay. TPQ! What? I thought we'd just say random letters. Are we not? 
Ah. Look, a text message from the space agency Ganassa Nasha for you. Huh? It's an emergency situation. They need your help, Nasha. <laughs> this is space, and this is a spaceship piloted by Cutter. You know he went to the moon, right? Nash, Nash. His mission was to bring back moon rocks, space dust, and um, stuff like that. But Cutter left something behind. That's right. He left a half-eaten sausage in a moon crater. Huh? It was grabbed by the blurps. An alien race who can't believe we Earthlings throw away such treats as sausages. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. The blurps are eyeing the Earth's vast sausage reserves. They're about to invade. There's only one dog brave enough and skillful enough to save the world's sausages. Nasha, you have to stop the blurps invading. I give you the Starship Enterprise. Huh? Planet Earth depends on you. Ready for takeoff in five, four, three, two, one. Nasha! Thrusters, Nasha. Spaceship <laughs> landed safely in the crater on planet Blurp. <laughs> the safety of the world is now down to you, Nasha. <laughs> Greetings. <sighs> I am Captain Blubba Lubba of the Starship Destroy the Earth. The deadliest warship in the Blurp laser cannon attack fleet. <laughs> we want your mangas, salami, chorizo and hot dogs. Also chipolatas, which are nice. <laughs> Hand them over now or face immediate sausage extermination. <laughs>
sort of a mongrel are you anyway? Tripound? That's not even a real breed. Nobody knows what tripe is anymore. A freak. That's what you are. And furthermore, what kind of a dog shaves his legs? Uh, you don't, do you? Yes. And that smell. I'd offer my trademark derisory snort if I didn't think the intake of air might render me comatose. Huh? Lost me at derisory. And as for those supposedly world-class gnashing abilities of yours, know what I say? All took. Huh? Walter, what are you doing? <laughs> huh? Gotcha! Military-grade gnash-proof titanium boxer shorts. Freshly delivered from worldofunderpants.com. I may just have to risk a derisory snort here. Henceforth, I shall walk the streets of Beano Town unafraid, confident that my nether regions are safe at last from the... <laughs> 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 Some people never learn. And due to the lamentably substandard nature of this product, I will now not be recommending World of Underpants forward slash 100% anti proofcom and intend to look elsewhere for a more reliable supplier of armoured underwear. I expect a full and immediate refund and send. Hello, Walter. We got your email. <gasps> yeah! That's where it happened. And you say a dog did this? Yes, a dog. Look, whatever I said about World of Underpants forward slash 100% anti proofcom I really am most impressed with your complaints procedure, but... Can... <laughs> You're not from World of Underpants.com, are you? Son, we're gonna need your help. <laughs> Walter, seriously? Is this some kind of life is pain emo thing? Because <laughs> other types of music are available, you know. <laughs> what? What just happened? Walter, who was in that van? Who? I'll tell you who. MI13, the top secret government spy organization. But what would they want with Nasha? Apparently, that ghastly mutt of yours has been deemed a threat to national security, and you are never going to see him again. <laughs> can one look triumphant dressed as a sausage? I think one can. <laughs> Please, there's got to be some way to find out where it is. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry, Dennis. Says here the address of MI-13's Beano Town branch is known only to local military personnel. Well, that's no good. We don't know any... Ah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, chaps. Earwax. The silent enemy. Where did you say you were from again? MI-13, Beano Town branch. Uh, we just popped out to the shops for some biscuits. Uh, yeah, and the place is so secret, we forgot how to get back. You couldn't give us directions? Of course, it's... Hang on, how do I know you're who you say you are? Ah, because of all the cool spy stuff we have. Such as? Um, walkie-talkie trainers. <laughs> Agent D to Agent C, come in, please. Do you read me? Over. <sighs> Reading you loud and clear, Agent D. Over. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. Then there's these. Black Ops Cola Cubes. One suck and the enemy's out for the count. Observe. My word, impressive. Sorry I doubted you. All right, listen carefully. Huh. This'll be the place then. Weird how we've never noticed it before. Yes? Am I 13? No. Can I have my dog back, please? Hmm. Okay. They had their chance. One sausage ought to do it. Curly. <laughs> now all we have to do is wait. Ah, works every time. <laughs> That was 
unexpected. We call it the Nashinator. It's a prototype superweapon made from cloned Nasher teeth. What? Where's Nasher? He's being debriefed at our other, even more secret base. But now, thanks to you, there's an out-of-control Nashinator on the loose. So? Go get it back! Uh, we can't. We're, um, we're stuck. In gnashing its way out, it crippled security and jammed the exits. Yeah? Well, I hope it ate your spy socks and weed on your spy carpet, too. Actually, it did. So, here's the deal, kid. You will get Nasher back on one condition. That you keep the Nashinator out of trouble until backup arrives. Hang on. Is this, like, a mission? Because, seriously, if you do have Black Ops Cola Cubes, they would be... Go! But beware. The Nashinator was created for one purpose and one purpose alone. To seek out and gnash the enemy. And unfortunately, it seems to have developed certain natural dislikes. What do you mean? And I now declare the Beano Town Annual Postman's Convention open! <laughs> okay, people, listen up. We're working for MI-13, and we need you to evacuate the building right away, because there's an unstoppable set of robot teeth coming to gnash you. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Covered. Uh, figures. Okay. Well, we just wait till backup arrives, right? My elbow. <laughs> Pie face. Not helping. Sorry, Dennis. <laughs> okay, folks. We're down to our last sausage. We're gonna have to make a run for it. After three. One. <laughs> Nasha! Yes! Go get him, boy! Back off, Robo Chops. Final warning. I got butternut squash here. Ouch! Curly, the aubergines. <laughs> of property, possession of a dangerous weapon. Dennis, do you never learn? Huh? Uh, hey, Robo Chops! Uh, Look who's here! Uh, yes! Wow, Walter! You're a hero! <laughs> And Nasha, you were brilliant! You saved all those posties! Yes, Nash, Nash. Nash, 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 Nash. Well, temporarily saved them anyway. So, yes, you may rest assured that Project Nashinator has now been officially mothballed, and the Nashinator itself disposed of. You haven't just stuck it in a giant warehouse full of wooden boxes, then? No. Still, there has been one good thing come out of this. Yeah? What's that? Our detailed studies of Nash's teeth have helped us develop these. MI-13's new armored field trousers. Now scientifically proven to be completely 100% Nash proof. Nash, Nash? Oh, 
Almost lunchtime. Hot dogs. Pizza. Mmm, salad. Huh? For Paul, he's gone vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think that means poison, Pyface. The food isn't that bad. Is it, Brenda? Lunch is off, boys. The pest exterminator found an ant nest in the kitchen, but he's been sorting it out. Aha! Uh -huh. I've got you down, little ant. Uh, no, no, I don't. Since 9.30 this morning... Uh -oh. If you head to the playground, we've made alternative arrangements. Celery soup! Get your cold celery soup! Ugh. Cold celery soup? I thought we were trying to avoid being poisoned. Oh, I could always dig into my emergency pie supply. Anyone for a bite? Thanks, Pieface, but one piece of blueberry pie isn't going to feed us. Oh, I don't understand. Why would they shut the canteen over a few little ants? Yeah, it's the only good part of school. Hmm. <laughs> if a few little ants can shut down the canteen, what would it take to shut down the whole school? Menaces? I think it's time for an infestation. Touch. I'll need the rest of that blueberry pie. But I'm hungry. Would you prefer a few stale pie crumbs at school or 20 fresh pies outside school? Celery soup full of vitamins. Pick, take it. <laughs> Menaces, I present to you the Nasha Ant. <laughs> Nasha, Nash. How long does it take to get rid of a few ants? Shh! <laughs> uh -huh. I have you down. That's a bun. Exactly. I'm tracking the ants' DNA. It left traces on that bun. Aha! Uh -huh. Stand back, civilians. Things are about to get very messy. Right then, we'll uh, leave you to it. Again? Oh, I've never seen anything like it. How big are they? Now, Nasha! <laughs> Time to say goodbye, Ant. <laughs> School? Just for some tiny ants? No, it's much worse than that. There's a giant ant on the loose. Save yourselves! A giant ant? Surely there's no such thing as a... A, <laughs> a giant ant! <laughs> oh! Attention, students, attention. All lessons are hereby cancelled. Please leave the school in an orderly, calm fashion. Oh, and I uh, should also mention there's a huge giant ant on the loose. Try to avoid it. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Menaces one, school nil. Great job, Nasha. Ant. <laughs> Lunchtime, I think. <laughs> What? Oh no! Look! It's a giant ant! Run for your lives! Don't make it angry! Nash, Nash! Ah! <laughs> Result! 
Looks like your lunch is sorted, Nasha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, Dennis, what about our lunch? thought you'd never ask. Mm. <laughs> Wait! Shouldn't you boys be at school? School's closed. Small insect problem. Leah! Been 20 years I've never lost a bug, and I'm not about to lose one now. Just need to locate a trace of its DNA. Mm, if only I could find something it ate. How about your paints? Huh? Aha! We can locate the precise location of the beast. <laughs> Ooh, blueberries. Curious? Target acquired. It's on the move. <laughs> <laughs> And a pie's left, pie face. Um, I've got blueberry, blueberry, a blueberry. Ah, blueberry for me. <laughs> Whoa! Nobody move. You've got giant egg DNA all over you. Stay alert. It's close. Uh-oh! Nasha, run! Huh? Nasha, Nasha, Nasha! <laughs> Come back here, fiend! And, uh, what do we have here? The creature has shed its skin! Help me out of this! I can still track him! Uh, uh, I don't understand! How did he find us? Huh? Oh, no! It must be the blueberry pies! That machine thinks the pie juice is ant DNA! That's how it's been tracking us! Pie face! I'm on it! <laughs> And we'll all have to take emergency precautions. You too, Nasha. <laughs> this is it. The ant nest. <laughs> and rinse. <laughs> Nice try, Ant. Think you could hide in the sewer, eh? Eat go, Newton! <laughs> My work here is done. That was close. Can we still have the day off school? Yeah. Oh, look, it's Principal Detester. He's got the day off too. Mm. Nash. Ah. Oops. <laughs> Nash. <laughs> I don't want to see another plate as long as I live. Well, I guess you won't want lunch then. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Mm, let me guess. Blueberry.
Now that is not the pace of a postman preparing to pull. Oh. 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 Draw your attention to Postal Delivery Service Article 49B, Subsection 12, which expressly states. <laughs> this is all that's left of my year subscription to Magnet Monthly. What's Magnet Monthly? The only periodical exclusively about the hows and whys of magnetism, obviously. It's fascinating. Right. There's even less of Efficient Pockets Weekly, Fractions Quarterly, Ant Admirer and Collectible Placemats. Wow. Walter, I... I'm horrified. You shouldn't be inside reading boring magazines. You should be getting out and doing fun stuff. Nash is doing you a favour. A favour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got you out of the house. You're getting fresh air, exercise, and Nash is getting exercise too. <laughs> and now his collection is just one sample short. Oh, what collection? <gasps> Within 24 hours, the world record for the largest collection of samples from post office issue underpants, held since 1908 by an unusually fast and snappy dash -un, will be claimed by one Nasha Menace. Nasha! Hmm. Well, as you've clearly no intention of curbing your pooch's postal impropriety, I'll have to take postal matters into my own hands. Eh? You're going to be a postman? Nash, Nash. no! Of course not! Sorry, Nasha. Walters doesn't count. But come tomorrow's post, you'll be the new title holder. Huh? We'll see about that. <laughs> ah, don't want to miss the big moment, eh, Walter? Oh, absolutely not. Today is the debut of the future of post delivery. Say hello to the Postatron. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's the new postman. <laughs> it's a prototype. <laughs> All the traits of a human postal worker combined with robot efficiency. <laughs> I first read about it in Stamps and Envelopes News. <laughs> I told the post office I knew just the place to test it out. Splendid. Porridge enthusiast. Hm. I've been looking forward to you, my friend. <laughs> post? We've not had post for months. <laughs> Oh, Nasha. He's devastated. How can he bag the record for postal underpants samples when our robot postman doesn't wear pants? Could we put pants on it? It doesn't have legs. Could we put legs on it? Uh, oh. No! We've got to get rid of the robot postman. We've got to get a real postman back so Nasha can claim that record. <laughs> and this is how we're going to do it. Nasha will drive it, and when Nasha barks into the microphone inside, it'll sound like a hundred dogs. <laughs> <laughs> At the sound of a hundred Nashers, any postman would like it. And as the Postatron is programmed to behave just like a postman... You've built a robot dog? Obviously. It's the only way to scare off a robot postman. We don't want you scaring off the robot postman. I like getting post. Here's a postcard from Gran. She's stranded in the Congo and needs us to send cash. Six months ago. Oh, that's why we haven't heard from her. And the Postatron has also finally delivered all your school reports. You're grounded. You can help us sort through all this post. Here's a power bill. Final demand. Huh? <laughs> right, you're doubly grounded. You and Nasha. But first, find some candles. But, but what about Nasha's record? <laughs> Good luck, Pie Face. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis, inside now. You're grounded. And sorting post. Oh, you're our eyes, Curly. Keep us updated. <laughs> 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 Hello? Is that the dog catcher? Hmm. I need you to bring your largest net. <laughs> Tell me, Jerry. 
Oh, oh that tickles. <laughs> <Ow>! <laughs> You're coming with me! Uh, Dennis, we have a problem. <gasps> I have to go rescue Pieface. He's been taken by the dog catcher. <sighs> Why does that sentence not surprise me? Dennis, you're not going anywhere till you finish sorting all that post. <laughs> What sort of sorting is that? It's all been sorted into a needs-to-be-sorted pile. See ya! <coughs> Wait! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Another wild dog! <laughs> hey, aren't you our old postman? Your new dog catcher now! I'm chasing dogs! Oh, <laughs> oh sweet revenge! Still, you must be miffed of robots doing your old job. That's the point. It's doing the job. Unlike me, it's fulfilling the postman's motto. Through rain or hail or snow, the post must get through. So, if the robot postman can't get through, they'll have to re-employ a proper postman. With pants! Yes, yes. Hello? Can I get out, please? Anyone? Surely the Postatron's prepared for rain, hail and snow, Dennis. Ah, it won't be expecting the menace variety, though. <laughs> Ready, menaces? Yes, Ready. Sir. There's a magazine called Magnet Monthly. I know. Free magnet with every issue. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Is that Magnet Monthly? Not one issue of my subscription has arrived all year. So, can you send them again? All at once? Brilliant. My name? It's Walter. <laughs> I suppose you menaces hope once again to disrupt the march of technology. No, you win, Walter. We've tried and we can't stop the Postatron. Ha! I knew you wouldn't be able to get the better of its superior robot brain. And Nasha felt so bad about ruining your magazines, so we're making up for it. A whole year's worth of Magnet Monthly, complete with free magnets, is arriving today. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? It's true. I give you a postal marvel with news of the marvel of magnetism in bulk! <laughs> You're right, Walter. Magnetism is marvelous! <laughs> <laughs> Job back? Yes. Apparently, the Postatron had a few glitches to iron out. Well, something like that. Still, at least Nash is not around today, so I can deliver the mail in peace. <laughs> He's behind me, isn't he? Yeah. Nash! <laughs> Hello, woofing dog. Congratulations. A new record. Do you have any idea what this will do for Beano Town? No. Neither do I. So, what's next for our champion then? Uh, nice, nice, nice. Apparently, he has his eye on the record for samples from Mare's underpants. Oh! Uh, what? Uh, no! <laughs> 